Greetings everyone, my name is Flair Blitz and welcome back to Tales of the Black Forest in this heavenly light theatre. It may sound enlightening, but it is the cult at work when it's the heavenly light in this universe. Hi, we're back here. And that... Hmm, where do we go from here then? Or maybe we just go back. Oh. They're trapping us here. What are you wanting from us? Great. More masks! It's all your fault. You turned us into these. No one will forgive you. A lot of things up there. Hmm. I'm not phased out in the slightest. What happened just now? I was running after my parents. Were you? Why'd I run to that place? Kara-san, you forgot. There are quite a few restless spirits around the theater. Restless spirits can, some can sometimes create illusions to lead passerby astray. That also means losing one's bearing in the legends. Don't tell me any sort of illusion of my father and mother just now. Maybe. The rest of the spirits can become a personal theme you want based on what you are thinking. They target your innermost desires. They might have realized you wanted to find out the truth, so they became your parents. Hmm. Let's go to the office. That's a great idea. Open the office door? Yes, that's a great idea. And there's nobody here. Oh yes, the clock. Hmm. Kahara-chan, is there anything special in this photo? The second person on the right is my father. Really? He looks rather refined and easygoing. There's a key from behind the photo frame. Obtain the office cabinet key. A list of names is written on the back of the photo. Hmm, all familiar names. July 1987. Kahara Sichi was a member of the cult. I remember the head of Shishinaki village is Watanabe. Miso is a station master who joined the Heavenly Light cult. Tarajima Ishii should be that person in charge of a theater whom we just met now. Did my father know them because he was involved in the construction of a factory? Weird. Why is her father's name on here? Founding members of the cult? Hmm, we can't interact with that clock. Oh, yes. Please check the locked drawers. Or should we look in other places first? I think we'll do... Oh. Uh, okay, we've already read that in the previous episode. Things have not changed. Anywhere else we can go before checking those drawers? Let's go to the office first. Okay, what about this way? No need to go back anymore. Okay, so we're in a dead end here. Yes, open the locked drawers. The radio and some files are in the cabinet. Lovely. This is a prayer from the Hoshin ritual. Heavenly... Okay, we've already listened to this anguish. Ah, this is what we need for the translator. I shall sacrifice my flesh and offer my soul. Cool. We've got the full script. Lovely. I've already heard of this from the previous episode. Obtain the God of Abundance prayer. So we've got the Abundance water and the Abundance prayer. We've got the water, Abundance and the prayer. Let's go back. Ah, back to the modern time. 
Now that we have attained the water of abundance and the prayer of the ceremony, once we succeed in summoning Hoshin, we might uncover the secrets in that curse. And I always think my mother and father have something to do with the Hoshin. But Kahara-chan, I don't think this way to summon Hoshin is reliable. Did you forget what Tamasaki said? San told us. If you summon Hoshin without thinking, it might bring misfortune. It might do. Karanati. Kawatani. Maybe I'm imagining things. When we were on the second floor earlier, you didn't seem too keen on attending the ceremony. You said before that you knew some secrets about Shishinaki village, but you couldn't divulge it because of a curse. Don't tell me it has something to do with the Hoshin. Is that so? Kahara-chan, it's just your imagination. I haven't finished my manuscript, that's why I'm so eager to get out of this place. You seem so nervous that even your voice is giving you away. Really? You must have misheard me. What's going on now? Is that how you guys doing? Oh, everyone's here. What happened? We were just practicing the ritual music on the second floor when suddenly we heard that vengeful spirit screaming horribly. Then it went nuts. Your rehearsal must have disturbed that spirit. I told you so many times that your noise is not your music is literally loud. Your music is literally noise. I was making loud. This is art. It's fashion, exactly. Where are the other yukai? We ran downstairs and told the other yukai to run and hide. They're already hiding in the prop room now. Why don't they run outside? Even the yukai would get corroded by the weeping rain outside. It's way more horrible than the vegetable spirits upstairs. It seems we have to postpone the ritual. Let's take refuge in a prop room before the vengeful spirit comes here to get us tr give us trouble. Give us trouble! No thank you! Kahala-san, what's in your hand? This is the water of abundance and the prayer for the ritual. Kahala-san, how did you accomplish it? I used a certain ability to go back to the Hoshin ritual that was held several years ago and got both the prayer and water for the ritual. As expected, Kahara-san is really extraordinary. It's not too late if we conduct the Hoshin ritual now. Furthermore, the water of abundance, prayer, music and person for Jinju are all set. Jinju? Jingu is a mu is a Maiko in charge of proceeding over the Hoshin ritual. Your figure is quite close to that of human girls. And you seem to have amazing powers. So you're the perfect candidate to preside over the ritual. <clears throat> I'll try. What? I need to stay here too? Why, of course. Who else is going to play the music if you leave? You are not allowed to run anywhere. Kawasumi san. Please hurry to the prep room and tell the other yukai to barricade the door with wooden boxes. Okay. All of you, take care of yourself. Kahara-san, please go to the room where the offerings are kept and change into a Miko Atir. Okay. Not our school Atir, our other Atir. Hmm. The wooden dolls are kneeling on the ground. Okie dokie. So this must be our Atir. Seems really big though. Kar Karatani, what's wrong? Karashan, there's no point in carrying out the Hoshin ritual, so don't waste your time on it. Karatini, what do you actually know about it? Hoshin is dead already. This is a tightly guarded secret along Hoshin followers, so it's not surprising that these Yukai wouldn't know. Anyway, it's pointless to summon Hoshin, because Hoshin no longer exists. Karatani. How do you know all these? 
I used to be a villager in Shishinaki village and worshipped Hoshin. Because I broke a rule for those who worship Hoshin, I was punished by Hoshin and I lost part of my voice. As expected, I thought you knew too much about Shishinaki village right at the beginning. And whenever you were nervous, you would speak with a Shishinaki village accent. Tension's running high now with these two. Then what about the curse on me? What did I do that Hoshin would punish me? Kahara-chan, it has nothing to do with you. You are a victim of the curse. Anyway, we can't count on Hoshin. We can only rely on our abilities to find the film. And you're here. Sorry, I heard your conversation by accident. Since that little pigeon said Hoshin is dead, we could carry out another plan. Another plan? The vengeful spirit is quite likely to be formed by the accumulated anguish from the victims of the gas attack three years ago. Since we can use your ability to return to this place three years ago and stop the gas attack, if no one died, there would be no vengeful spirit. Nenshan cannot change death even if we go back to the past. Oh, little pigeon, how do you know? Have you tried it before? I haven't tried it, but this is one of the rules of Ninsha. Kahara-chan, please trust me, Ninsha cannot change death. Kahara-san, I know you are a kind person, but this pigeon seems to be holding a lot of things from you. Can you still trust her? Kahara-chan! Megumi-san, I trust Karatina. Karatani. Although Karatani is also making, always making a fuss, isn't really reliable sometimes, and she even likes to delay her manuscript. <coughs> but whenever she's at my side, I feel assured. It is the feeling of assurance that I accepted her for hiding things from me. So I trust her, because I listen to my heart. Kara-chan, you have always felt this way? Yes, of course. You have to tell me the truth when the curse is lifted. No problem. And what about you? <laughs> the friendship between young girls is a cliche indeed. It's not bad, and I think an audience would like it. I have no objections to a strong relationship between the two of you, but I still think this pigeon is hiding something from you. Since both of you aren't willing to go back to the past, why don't you transfer your ability to me? I am going to stop that strategy. You can't change death. Hey, are you threatening us? Sort of. Kawasan, you are stuck here now. You have no other choice. Heh, I remember now. I was wondering why you are dressed so strangely, Kawasan. She is that woman with the split lip in the legends. Woman with a split lip? I have heard of this urban legend. Right, it's this person. They said someone in Kurumori Town saw the woman with a split lip in the middle of the night. And that's why she wears a mask. No time to explain right now, Kahara-san. Your ability seems to be related to something, right? Hand it over. I'm the only one who can use Nensha. But since that vengeful spirit has something to do with the gas attack, I might be able to find a way to exercise it after we go back in time to investigate the place. Then that means we have a deal. By the way, I know you are human, so you don't need to wear that mask in front of me. Hmm, Kami-san, I'm going to take you off for a while. As expected, you really have an adorable face. No wonder everyone likes you so much. Heh! <laughs> of course Kahara-chan is so adorable and smart, that's why everyone likes her. You mentioned just now that you needed electrical appliance to use Nensha. There is an electrical appliance in the Yukai shop on the second floor. I will go with you. Okay. I don't trust her, but let's get going. Gorgeous Maiko Atir. Miko. 
And what's with his music? Hmm. Miss Megumi, it looks very dangerous here. When will the ritual start? Kara-san needs to get familiar with the proceedings. You will stay here. If you're scared, just go hide in that room where we store our offerings. No, that room looks even more scary. I'll just stay here on standby. Fine. Do that then. I don't trust. Whoa. Things have warped here. The negative energy from the vengeful spirit is beginning to spread. We need to hurry. Thanks. And this is covered away. Will the yokai hide in the prop room be okay? The door to the prop room won't last much longer. Let's hurry to the yokai yarn on the second floor. We'll do that. That did that. Go in here. Hello. Megumi-san, I heard the vengeful spirit escaped. Should we continue with the ritual? The ritual is cancelled. Kara-san and I have a new plan. We will destroy that vengeful spirit. Megumi-san, if you destroy that vengeful spirit... Yumi, give me the item I left with you for safekeeping. A moment, please. Megumi-san, here is your watch. Thank you, Yumi. Kihara-san, this watch still works. The rest is up to you. Hmm. I trust you will not try to deceive us. Oh. Megumi-san. Ah, can I play with all of you? Ah, it's the young version of ourselves. We're playing hide and seek right now. We'll hide and you catch us, okay? Hmm? Don't open your eyes until you have finished counting from one to a hundred. No peeking, or we won't play with you again. Okay, here I go. Ah. One, two, three. Oh. That's not nice. Who are you? Eh? You can see me? Demoness. Where are they? Hmm, let me see. They ran away when you counted to 13. They were saying... She can see unclean things, don't play with her while running away. Oh no. Hey, Ojin Chan, don't cry. I can play with you. Aww. Proceeding through life. Graduation. And Osam, people are saying that you will take a break from the movies to join the theatre trope. Can you share with us with your reasons? Oh, okay. As an actress, I want to do more than simply appearing on screen. I hope to improve in my acting. There are a lot of senpai who are far better than me in Atari theater trope. Atari. And I believe I will benefit a lot from them. Earlier, journalists took a picture of you, of you with film producer Yanam Yanamo Hitoshi in private. Are both of you seen each other? No comment. Yamo-san and I are just friends. We were talking about my break from the movies that day. Does this mean, Yamo-san, you're prompting you, you prompted you to quit acting? No. You've misunderstood me. Taking a break from the movies is my own decision. Your fans have expressed their disappointment that you're taking a break from your movie career. What would you like to say to them? I'm deeply sorry for disappearing from the limelight for some time. I remember everyone's support and devotion for me. I won't let everyone down. You'll see a better Ando Megumi in a year's time. Once again, I'd like to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for your support. Actress. Papa, can you come to the school sports week 
meet next week? Sorry, Kanshin. I'll be away on business next week. I've asked my colleagues to accompany you. I'll take you to the amusement park when I'm back, alright? Hmm. Papa, can you see Yukai? Kanshin, Yukai don't exist in this world. But I did see them. Kanshin, I'm busy now. Have you finished reading the books I wrote on your reading list? Not yet. Then read your books. Papa's really busy now. Hmm. Poor Kenshin. And now? Mikumi-san, this show is a huge success. The audience love your role. I'm flattered. I owe it to the guidance from you and the other senpai who were cast in the show. It's rare to see such a humble star like you. What a pity that you are returning to the big screen. It's a really big loss for the theatre. Tarajami-san, I will always remember as a member of this theatre. I will come back to see everyone when I'm free. Great. You're always welcome here. The celebration is about to begin. Megumi-san, let's go. And then... It's like reflections of our past. Demoness is now alone. Obasan, are you a Yukai? Obasan, do I look that old? Hmm. From a human's perception perspective, I am a yokai indeed. Other people can't see yokai. How can I can see you? How come they don't want to play with me? As the saying goes, birds of the same feather flock together. It's just like how some people like mixed rice with natto, like some mixed rice with egg, and some who like rice with natto would stay away from those who like egg and egg with rice, rice with egg. For those humans who can't see yukai is because of fear, envy and various reasons. They will treat those who can see yukai as abnormal people. What should I do? Should I look for a person who could also see yukai like me? Then you're no different from most people, right? Oshin-chan, have you heard of this saying? If you smile nicely at others, people may give you the cold shoulder. And people may also give you a smile in return, give you a warm hug, or even stay at your side forever. Perhaps one day, you may lose your ability to see you, Kai, and become a normal girl. But I am already normal, how dare you say that? But your kindness and love for others will bear fruit. To love and to be loved is the best thing in the world. Ojinshan. I can see that you are a kind and gentle child. So follow your heart and express your love to those you love. That's enough. I see. Thank you, Yukai of Summer. Auntie, Auntie Monster. Aww. I'm not a monster. I gave you this advice and you call me a monster. Megumi san. Please wait a moment. Who are you? You are... Megumi-san. I'm your fan. I've watched all of your movies dozens of times, so... Hmm. Thank you for your support. Megumi-san. I heard you are seeing your manor, san. This kind of gossip isn't true. You are just seeing other guys. Begumi-san, I love you so much. How could you go out with other guys? This guy is a creep altogether. I've always supported every movie of yours. I'm the one who loves you the most. Why? Why did you betray me? Great. That kind of obsession is really unhealthy. 
Is there really nothing you could do? Megumi-san got injured badly this time. We have done our best. Isn't this the best hospital for plastic surgery? The cut at the corner of her mouth is 10 centimeters long, and it's very deep too. Even the best, best plastic surgeon can't make that scar disappear completely. Megumi-san is our main attraction. Because of the recession, everyone working around her depended on her face to earn their livelihoods. Sorry, we really have done our best. This guy's just thinking from a business standpoint. And that's how she got her mask from the incident. Megumi-san, we will always support you. Megumi-san, we will always love you regardless of how you have changed. Everyone is waiting for your return. Megumi-san, I've already announced that you're going to take a break from the movies indefinitely. Rest well. Ah. And she didn't even have a choice. That choice was taken away from her. By some maniac. I believe everything they said to me naively. I believe them when they said they would accompany me through this difficult period. But since then, I have not seen them again. This place again. Megumi-san, what was that? Baku can turn people's memories into dreams. What you saw just now were our memories. Looks like my watch was left with Baku for so long that it got affected by some of Baku's demonic powers and got projected into our memories by accident. Since you've seen my past, I don't need to hide it anymore. Oh. Mikumi-san, sorry for having called you the woman for split lip earlier. Little pigeon, are you pitying me? Uh, um, I appreciate your kind intentions, but I don't deserve any of your pity. Let bygones be bygones. If I remember correctly, the gas attack will take place in half an hour's time on the roof of the theatre. We'd better, better hurry and find a way to the rooftop. Hmm. But what are we doing in the projector room of all places? Hmm. We haven't got a new one though. But they're both active. Is there anything else that we should be doing while we're within this room though? Definitely a very interesting tale. I've said this multiple times, but I really like this game. I can see why it's overwhelmingly positive on Steam. A work table for repairing films. Oh yes, because the other door's there. Over here would be the way forward. Would it? Ah, there's something over here. Anywhere else we can go? The door's locked. Damn it! In the future, it's locked. Empty wooden boxes. <laughs> Neatly arranged odds and ends. Lovely. What do we got over here? A strange card is attached to a metallic box with a combination lock. No idea what it could be. This card looks like it could. This card looks like it's used to solve a certain type of puzzle. The theater manager loved the mysteries. He must have designed the card. Tarajima Ishai. I saw him before in the Hoshin ritual in 1987 and Miguri-san's memories. He isn't just a theatre manager, but he's also the head and screenwriter of the theatre trope. He's a very talented individual, but... Sorry, I should have thought of a pass. Let's keep looking for the key. Hmm, obtained a decryption card. Books on screenwriting. 
Lovely. Some detective novels and books and screenwriting. So this... A card that is used to crack open certain, certain puzzles. Passwords. It is a puzzle in itself. It has hollowed out holes on it. Can't use that. Okay. Main detective novels are placed in a shelf and a sheet of paper with strange symbols is plus... Not plus. It paste it on the top shelf. And there's a box up there too. The holes on this descript decryption card correspond to the symbols on the paper. Press the arrow keys to move a card. Press X to enter the current page. Right, so what exactly are we looking for? Hmm. It's not giving us a lot to go with. Hmm. Maybe it's just a brute force thing. We've interacted with all of the shells, but yet nothing seems to be going in place. Are there any other controls that we should know about? Okay, I'm going to say this right now. This is the first time where a puzzle has become very vague. Uh, it's not about that. This is the clue and the puzzle itself is something we need to arrange, so... We need to do just that. So there's two here. But what is... What is the purpose behind the... No, oh, never mind. Um, hmm. I think it's the ones that we can only see through the lens of this. Because there's... But there's more than one cloud though. So how is that only one? Maybe we need to put it into... Okay, so this one has one. This one has two. That one has zero. That one has two. That one has one. That one has one. That one has two. Like, what do we do from this? Although, there are other symbols on there which don't match the below symbols, so we need to... It's a process of elimination sort of thing, I think. So, only one cloud needs to be visible. And there's no X symbol down there. Hmm. X symbol. One cloud. One cloud. Gosh, we need to find... We need to find one which has all of these in. Yeah, they've thrown a curveball in this one. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty difficult one. This is the only tile which has all four symbols on here and only one cloud. Other ones which have one cloud on, not all four symbols appear on this one. So it has to be this screen here. So I'm thinking... Okay, so the first one, there's only one of. The second one, there's two of. And the circle is three. So one, two, three, one. Hey, the box opens. That was a tricky one. There's a book and a bunch of keys inside the box. Obtained a key to the attic. Hell yeah, now we can go to see that vengeful spirit. Spiritual journey, uh, Shukihawa Hiroshi. I'm not good with Japanese names, I'm sorry. This book is for the Heavenly Light Cult. A uh, member of it, and there's a letter in the box. The apostate uh, is so scared of the police investigation that he intends to submit the list of our members as mitigating evidence to the police. Please get rid of him ASAP. That means he was hanged by the heavenly cult, and the blame was put on Hoshin followers. Faith in Hoshin had already declined before he got hanged. Most of the followers have an abhorrent attitude, so they wouldn't possibly kill anyone who renounced their beliefs. 
In contrast, the heroin light developed rapidly after the recession with strict rules, and we have no mercy on on apostates. Hmm. We've got the key to the attic. Let's hurry to the roof and stop them. Let's hurry and stop the gas attack. We have come from the future to stop the horrors of the past. Cool. Anything in here? Empty wooden box. Wooden box. Empty metallic box for storing film reels. It doesn't have the black film reel we're looking for. It seems we have to go back to the attic in 1988 to find that film. Goodness sakes. We're here to prevent a catastrophe. Hmm. Yeah, can, we cannot save the dead or prevent the dead, but we can probably prevent the events that led to those deaths. So that the deaths would not occur in the first place. Right? We're here. What's wrong? Why can't we get across? There's a maze. I said it before that ninja cannot change death. The gods have to adhere to their own duties in order to avoid causing great disorder in the world. Some areas under the control of the gods have this type of cause and effect barriers. Hoshin controls with time and space in all four seasons, but he is responsible for the cycle of life and death. Even when he couldn't fight, when he couldn't break the cyber barrier. Why? Ando-san, are you hesitating? These people are innocent. I can't do it. Ando-san, take a close look at these people below. They treated you like a monster, and humiliated you with all sorts of strange nicknames. Have you ever hurt them? No. No, you never hurt them. On, con on the contrary, you love them very much. You have given so much of yourself to the movies, so that you wouldn't disappoint your beloved audience. But they never cared about them, the amount that you sacrificed for them. They put you on a pedestal before you got wounded. And what did they do after you got wounded? They criticized you heavily by the same amount. And who are the ones who care about you after you got wounded? It's the people in the theater, Anderson. We are the only people you can trust. But now, these people downstairs are going to drive our trope out of this theater. Anderson, you need to defend the theater and defend our blood, sweat, and tears. Do it. You just need to open the canister and throw it off the rooftop. It's very simple. Stop! Stop now! Please! Stop! I finally understood why Megumi-san rushed to stop this tragedy. She had screamed at herself in the past until the sound was drowned out by the torrential rain and the screams of a passerby below. I am still so naive. So naive I thought revenge could solve everything. It doesn't solve anything. It just causes more grief and pain. So naive that I thought going back to the past could make amends for my mistakes. Maybe this is a punishment for gods have intended for me. I killed those innocent people. I was the one who prevented their souls from resting in peace. Weeping rain, the vengeful spirit in the theater are all due to my mistakes. Megumi-san. Megumi-san, you've reminded me, and I've come up with a way to eliminate that vengeful spirit. But how so? Kara-san, what is your plan?
Kawasan. Are you sure this will really work? I've tried this before in Shishinaki Village, but I can't guarantee that it will work. And I also need you to lead the vengeful spirit to the staircase. Megumi-san, this method is rather risky to some degree. If you trust me. Ever since I became like this, I can't trust anyone anymore. But after what I have seen, what you have experienced, my heart keeps telling me to try trusting others again. So, I trust you, Kawasan. I make this decision by listening to my heart. Hmm. Thank you, Megumi-san. But let's go back to 1998. Megumi-san, this task is very dangerous. Please be careful. Kawasan, you too. That sound came from the first floor. Seems the vengeful spirit is at the first floor. Kawasan, hurry up and do it. Hmm. What are we to do? Ah, now we're in control of the other character. Let's see what this brings forth. Hold on. We have a dangerous task ahead of us. Where is it? Oh, we can't go back. You killed the innocent people. Suffer. Repent. Monster will s with split lip. Ug no, she's not ugly. It's all your fault. So that was for her, not for the protagonist. You can't kill me. So it must be in there then. They lie to you. They like a more beautiful or younger idol. Who would like a disfigured monster? This disfiguration was not a choice that we made. That sound came from the screening room. You claimed you took a break from the movies to train on your acting skills. This is just an excuse to hide your excuses. Excesses. You lie to your fans, and you don't truly love your fans. Live with the pain from lying to others and being lied to all this while. Stop it. The weeping rain is outside. That's the vengeful spirit. You, you don't come over. Hoshin is behind me. That spirit. Wow! I didn't mean to wake you up. I'll never make those noises again. I'm going to announce my retirement from the music scene. Oi! I'm a person you are looking for. Oh dear. Now it's a chase scene. Tentacles on the floor. Oh my. Really? That's the thing you're going to present to me? That? Fine. We will use the autosave to our advantage. Tentacles on the floor then are going to be our greatest enemy. Traps. So we need to lead it up to where our friend is. Megumi-san, hold my hand tightly. That was close. Fortunately, we came in time. Sorry, the vengeful spirit disappeared after I laid it to the doorway. It's okay, because I am now ready. Now we just need to wait for it. Here it is. Kara-san! Ah. We're back on the roof. Where the reaping rain is. Kara-chan, why did we come to the roof of the building? If I remember correctly, Akanui said before the weeping rain could also corrode the Yukai. Besides, did you notice that the vengeful spirit is always hanging around inside the theater? 
and the main entrance and windows don't have any of its negative energy. So I think the vengeful spirit is afraid of a reaping rain. I get it. You want to lure that vengeful spirit to the rooftop and destroy it with a reaping rain. But would it really take the bait? Do you still remember back at Shishinaki Village when we helped Tamasaki-san escape from the wedding? I used the watch to evade the foxes that were chasing us. Yes? Wait a second. Kara-chan, you want to... Hmm. I still have Megumi-san's watch. I'll put it here first, remember the time, and then wear it again. I will let that vengeful spirit catch me on purpose and activate Ninja the minute I got cat I got caught, sorry. Then I will bring the vengeful spirit together with me to the rooftop. So Haruko san gave us the pearl which can which can protect us from the weeping rain's corrosive effects. And that vengeful spirit will be exposed to the weeping rain. Oh, it's worth trying. Here we are. Oh. Through the curtain of rain, the people who died from the gas attack seem to be tearing the vengeful spirit apart. Oh, it's howled. It howled. Finally. It disappeared above the theater together with the reaping rain. Right, you. Know. So that's how it goes down. Both the weeping rain and the vengeful spirit are gone. Hey. Whoa, Oja san, you could actually put an end to the weeping rain and the vengeful spirit. Of course, who do you think we are? We go around and solve problems wherever we go. Kara san, not only did you get rid of the vengeful spirit, but you also stopped the weeping rain. Words really can't express our gratitude, Car. Since that vengeful spirit is gone, we don't need to hold any Hoshin ritual. How about organizing a concert celebration? Come on. Hey, who was the one who cried about leaving the music scene just now? How did you know? You yelled so loudly that everyone heard it, Car. I was scared. Hey, I only said that to confuse my enemy. And you had no idea how dangerous it was. Thank God Megumi-san showed up. Otherwise that vengeful spirit would have eaten me. Where is Megumi-san? We didn't see Megumi-san when we came up. Okay. Oh. Yumi. Did you see Megumi-san? Megumi-san disappeared already. So there's something else we should have done. Hmm. Maybe. No, there's nothing about talking to her after chapter three. Okay. Sorry. Megumi-san never wanted anyone to know the truth, so I've been hiding it from you the whole time. Truth? Yumi, what is Megumi-san hiding? That vengeful spirit was formed from Megumi-san's soul. Shortly after the gas attack three years ago, Megumi-san regretted it and blamed herself and committed suicide. She was so obsessed that it binded her soul and slowly swallowed her consciousness. In the end, her soul turned into that vengeful spirit. Before Megumi-san's last consciousness got swallowed up, Baku and I sent that restless spirit to sleep, and we kept that consciousness in Megumi-san's watch. The Megumi-san you saw was just a dream Baku created from that consciousness. Now the vengeful spirit has finally disappeared, and she has finally woken up from her long slumber. I should have noticed it earlier. Kara-san, no need to blame yourself. Megumi-san is quite grateful to you. Although Megumi-san enjoyed her time at the theater very much, she has always been bound by remorse. It is a form of redemption and the best ending for her to help Kara-san eliminate the vengeful spirit. I should be the one to thank her. 
I haven't had time to return her watch. Then consider this watch as a token of appreciation from Gumi-san to you. Hmm. I will cherish it. That's what she would have wanted to. In her last conscious moments. Gumi-san? You didn't tell Kawa-san the truth? I know Kawa-san is a very nice person. If she def if she knew the truth, she would definitely cancel the plan, yeah. And I'm already quite pleased with this result. Ah, Applause. Megumi-san, everyone is celebrating now. You still have time to say goodbye to them. Everyone must be looking forward to your presence. No need, Yumi. In the past, I regarded the flowers and applause as if my life depended on it. I worked hard and trained on my acting skills. I thought I was dedicated, but in fact I was just scared. I was afraid to become a has-been, afraid to get overshadowed by new people, and afraid to lose that love from the audience. The person I was back then loved that fame which was an illusion. So when I found out I got cheated, I lost myself and committed unpardonable crimes. Now I finally understand that flowers and applause no longer belong to me. When I see everyone smile from the bottom of their hearts on the sidelines, I'm quite satisfied. Kawasan, to be honest, I'm a bit envious of you. I envy you, not because of your face or your popularity, but by what? When I envy you is your courage of, is your courage to love and your freedom to be loved. Ah. And that's that. And that's that. Ah. Chapter 3 complete. By the way, I found a black film reel in the attic. I wonder if it's the one you were looking for. It is a black film reel. I could barely make out a pattern full of black feathers on the film reel's cover. Hmm. It should be the film I've been looking for. Obtained a black film reel. Kawasan. I have mentioned before that Baku can play any film. So you can look for us if you need to play the film. Hmm. Thank you, Yumi. Another way of saying dream. Sort of like Umaniki. Dream diary. Oh. Now there's a double door. The door to the projection room, which vanished earlier, has appeared again. Yumi said that the projection room was sealed by some strong power. Only Hushi could do it. But Hushi died several years ago. It doesn't matter, Kara-chan. We're only one step away from removing the curse. Hmm, we have a divide here. The projection room on the left can play the film. And the yokai on the right could also play the film. This is not an ordinary film reel. It might disappear once we use it, so... Hmm. I understand. We can only choose one of the two doors. Since the curse is related to the projection room, maybe we can truly remove the curse if we use the projector to play the film. But I saw my memories and Megumi-san's memories because of Baku. Maybe Baku can help me find my lost memories. Hmm. No matter what you choose, I'm fine with it. Thank you, Kawatini. Your game is automatically saved since this is a branch port to make it convenient for you to enjoy the different endings. Your automatic your autosave will not be removed. Please save the game manually at an appropriate point after this. Some of the characters are feared to have new things to say to you. Once you open the door, you will enter the final chapter and you may miss out on the things they will say to you. Yes. So that is definitely the divergence point. The point of no return. So let's go see what happens if we go about the theatre then. To talk to everyone. To thank everyone. 
while we have been the main anchor of this journey, we couldn't have done this without all the other characters. This room again. Oh no, I've dropped that yokai somewhere. Hey, stupid human, I'm right here in our pocket. Oh, you're in here then. Hi. Hmm. How could you leave me behind? Sorry. It was an emergency. Never mind, I'm not blaming you. After all, you helped everyone put that vengeful spirit to rest. But why are you here? I was almost devoured by that vengeful spirit's negative energy. This guy saved me. Thank you. After that vengeful spirit disappeared, the ghosts from the Weeping Rain were also released. Aiko-san came back here and disappeared after hearing this guy's performance. He's very grateful to you for setting Aiko-san's soul free. Think nothing of it. Aiko-san heard your wish. That's why she came back. You're a nice girl. I owe you one. If anyone believes you in the future, I will curse that person till he bleeds to death. Whoa. No need for that. Oi, are you leaving this place? Come back here when you are free. Hmm. Yay, a musician on the tour. Talk to the demon mask in the proper room after chapter 3. I plan to travel with this guy and let more people hear Aiko san's music. <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought that it could lead to death if I try and play the piano, as it always has. So the mask and that spirit are one and the same. Under renovation. Okay, we've already been here. Hmm. Hello there. I heard from Yumi that Yugunisan has gone on a tour to collect inspiration for her works. That's a that's one way of putting it. She was in such a hurry but didn't have time to see her off. Speaking of which, I'm Megumi-san's fan. And not just me, but everyone in the theatre knows about Megumi-san's past too. We kept it from you and hoped she would forget the past completely. Anyway. I will try my best to manage this place while she's away. Hmm. Karasomi-san. I'm sure you can manage the theatre well. Ah. He appreciated that talk. Gat! Yumi said Megumi has gone on a tour. I wonder when we could see her again, Nya. Yeah. Not sure when, but it will be at some point. No one will attend a court, cert. When will this guy get it? Hmm. Always sleeping. Yo, we're preparing for the concert to express our appreciation to Magomi and Kahara-san and to mark the revival of the theatre. Okay, and the fox? I remember. You're that human... Okay, this again. No need to be afraid. I won't capture you. It's great that Oji-shan could obtain her freedom. Don't worry. With me around, the other foxes won't hurt you in this place. Thanks. And the translator. Kihara-san. I heard you found the prayer. Yes. But you probably don't need the prayer by now. In fact, I've already translated the words in the script. So I want to compare the script I've translated with the one you found. Okay. Does it match? Yakuma-san. Your translation only has a few sentences that are different from this translated text. Basically, they are quite similar. <laughs> I owe it to you when you agreed to look for the trans tra translated script. I suddenly felt so relieved for some time, and my translation speed improved dramatically. But this translated text is beautiful in its wording, and it is a huge academic achievement. Human knowledge is so infinite. Looks like I will have to work harder. 
Wait a second. This translated text is signed by Kaisaku-san? Kaisaku-san. He is a renowned expert on folklore, and he is also a mentor I respect greatly. If not for him, I would have chosen the path to do research on folklore. He went on a field trip to Kuomori Town three years ago, but unfortunately the poison gas attack happened at the theatre, and he died in that attack. I can't believe I actually see his translated text. Kaharu-san, thank you for finding this precious translation. Before that gas attack, he researched a lot on the history of Kuomori Town and Shishinaki Village. I will try my best to reach his level and finish his uncompleted research. Hmm. I believe you can definitely make it, Yakuma-san. By the way, Kahara-san, if you have any questions about a prayer on the history of Hoshin, just go ask ahead and ask me. I will answer as best as I can. Okay. Yay! Legacy of a scholar! So we have... A few more to reach, so... So it's just the two endings and the credits list, that's it. About the God of Abundance ritual. Kara-san, do you have any questions regarding the Hoshin ceremony? I have a question on what the prayer means. The script dates back to 80 years ago. During the Taisho period, Shishinaki village prospered greatly from the coal mining industry. Not many people believed in Hoshin back then. The villagers in Shishinaki village worshipped a deity called Aiko Sama. But that prosperity didn't last long. After the war broke out, the men were sent to the front line to fight. That's when Shishinaki village started to decline. When the Second World War ended, half of the men in the village had died. Surprisingly, the men who believed in Hoshin all came back alive. And the saying goes as that. Yep. At a time when manpower is short, having a strong man in the family means the whole family could survive. It goes without saying that a faith in Hoshin expanded at an unstoppable rate in Shishigaki Village, and eventually became the only faith in Shishigaki Village after replacing Aiko Sama completely. As for the second half of the passage, it's like most of the religious prayers. It describes how the villagers pray for Hoshin to become a favorable weather and drive away poverty and disaster. That's all I can tell about prayer. I have a question on the history of the God of Abundance. Hoshin was previously called Master of All Creatures. It's a powerful deity that manipulates space and time, the four seasons, and the growth of all creatures. It is said that Hoshin was reincarnated as a baby girl in Shishinai village, as a, a central girl, sorry. The girl had shown remarkable power when she was still a child. But because the villagers in Shishinaki village all worshipped Aiko-sama, many people treated the girl as a sinister entity. After the Second World War, Hoshin became more prominent. That girl was called Jingu by her followers, which means the body where the deity lives. Jingu was responsible for presiding over rituals and talking to deities. She had a powerful influence at Shishinaki village. According to the documents at Shishinaki village, Jingu lived for 103 years and passed away four years ago. That's a really good age. After that, Hoshin's influence declined. Shishinai village also declined irreversibly. I have a question on the Yukai in the theater. After the humans abandoned the theater, the Yukai from nearby started to move into the theater and set up stores. But several years ago, a vengeful spirit took up residence in the attic that stored the film reels. The theatre couldn't screen movies normally, and everyone's businesses suffered more or less. All of us knew Hoshin was powerful, so we organised ritual. We hoped Ri Hoshin could help us exercise that vengeful spirit. Do all the yukai here worship Hoshin? <laughs> How should I put it? Actually, not every yukai in the theatre worshipped Hoshin. Or should I say, they are hardly any worshippers at all. Humans are awed by unknown powers. That's how faith in a deity develops. But to Yukai, we're familiar with the powers deities possess because we deal with them a lot. 
Our relationships with deities are like customers and merchants. We offer sacrifices to deities, and they help us to drive away evil spirits. That's all. I have a question on nothing else. Nothing else comes to mind. So, we can have free reigns to explore everywhere and anywhere. There's no more reaping rain out here. So, folks. This marks the end of this episode. The next and final time will be about which of the two doors we'll be going through. Plot twist, we'll be going through both of them in the next and final episode of Tales of a Black Forest. So one end will lead to a white snowflake like a, sun, like a flower in summer, and the other one will be a traveler coming home. And then a secret message from the novelist, read the credit list. So, Thank you all so much for watching, folks, and see you all in the final time of Tales of the Black Forest, where we'll be going through both of the endings. Have a lovely day and take care of yourselves.